You mentioned, uh, I think in that interview, that you used to be really addicted to shopping. No, no, I'm not addicted to shopping, bro. Like, I'm not, no, I don't even care that much. Like, what? What do you mean? Me? Care about clothes? Bro, no, no, no. no. <laughs> That'd be crazy if I loved clothes so much. You ever click a message on your phone and like you're like fuck I didn't want to click that so it doesn't say red you know what I mean yeah this is basically like the first holiday office damn dogs are going crazy um, yeah it's really dirty right now this is like actually one of the first times I was like did something that came out with BH I went to this army surplus store I would always hang out at and one day they just got like I found one of these and I was like, yo. I was like, what's up with that? He's like, oh, we've had these for years. And I'm like, can I get it at like a discounted rate? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we have a shit ton and no one's buying them. And then here's the under, like all these like stay broke tees actually. <laughs> this is like hand drawn by me when I was still living in St. Louis. Like I just drew it with literally fabric marker. Like that. Thank you, Nick. I used to live in St. Louis. I was very broke at the time, and I had like nothing. And so the only like option I had for like getting clothes in my head was like stealing them. But I would like get like piles of hoodies and just like sprint out with them, grab sharpies too. And then I started drawing on these hoodies. Slowly it was like people started coming in being like, "Oh, what is that?" And then I'd be like, "Oh, it's my brand." And they'd be like, "Oh, can I buy it?" And I'd be like, "No, you can't." But like that started building this like demand. Right here is a cease and desist from the MLB. <laughs> and that's why we can't sell NYLA hats anymore. I honest, I was happy, like, you know, cause it's like, it's cool to get a cease and desist in like the streetwear world. Like it's like, that's a, that's a moment. It just built over time, kind of like, more and more people started wearing it and like wanting to know where it's from. And like, a lot of it is like due to these like Brockhampton parties we would have. Cause it's like so many people were, like, come over and fuck with us and like, hang out and DJ. It just became this like thing. A little surprise on the inside, it's a uh, surprise, it's a holiday shirt. <laughs> yeah, with the Dover Street tag on it. That's crazy. How'd that feel? Uh, surreal. Those rugs? Those rugs you? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's a Brockhampton um, like holiday collab that we did. But anyways, I met this guy, Corey Miller. He's like, yo, have you heard of this dude, Kevin Abstract? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, bro, you gotta hear it. And like, I'm like, okay. And like, he played the song and it's called Bubblegum and it's not even like a, I guarantee, like it's such a low key song. I listened and I was like, yo, this is fucking awesome. Like it was the most inspirational thing I think I ever like actually was shown. I DM'd him and I'm like, yo, blah, blah, blah. And we would just like talk a lot and just go back and forth about shit. I'm on Twitter and I'm just going through my phone and I see Ian tweet, is there anyone in the UK that can run my merch for me? I just like text him and I'm like, yo. I was like, I was like, you're looking for someone to do merch? He's like, yeah, I'm about to go on tour for like the first time really. And I'm like, bro, let me do it. I'm super down, can't afford to pay you. And you just gotta share a room like with all of us. Cause it was like, they only had a budget for like one hotel room. I was like, all right. And I spent like all of my money on this plane ticket. Or like, I've never met them before. I didn't know what I was getting into. Okay, so this is like our whole next collection, some of it. It's like huge collection, but there's just stuff I haven't even seen yet. Yeah, this is our collection called Meltdown. 
I made a stay broke shirt that says holiday on it. And it's a blue long sleeve and it had this quote on the back about like an opinion of Christmas and how it feels, but we sketched Christmas out of it. I did that and I was like, oh, I really like this shirt. And I was like, wait, I really like this shirt. This is awesome. And I was like, okay, I gotta switch everything. Like this brand is no longer stay broke. This brand is gonna be known as holiday for now. This is a crazy one. This is literally just all Balenciaga. I would say it's probably my favorite brand. This is Ian's. Yeah, we wore this, we wore both of them. He wore this and I wore this one. There's just a rack full of like references and just like shit that like, I like have wanted for a long time and like, I always feel like I like traveled across America holding duffel bags worth of like, clothes because that's what I did you know and while running the merch booth like I was doing both at the same time because I was like just wanting to do more I feel like there's not a representation at all in streetwear and like the gay community or being queer or whatever I don't think it's strong at all yet I feel isolated I feel alone but I also feel super accepted and I also feel super supported, you know? And I think it's just like a tough thing. Like, and it's weird because it's like, it doesn't need to be this like tough thing. You wake up in the morning and you don't feel like yourself. You wake up and you feel like it's just gonna be like this loop of like you hiding yourself from the world. And then you get to a point where you're just like, yo, like, I can be myself. I can be a part of all these things I love and like what I'm into doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think right now I'm just at a spot where I'm just trying to build my world. Like I'm just trying to build, yeah, my world. That's all I wanna do. Like I just, whatever consists in my world is what we're trying to do right now.